Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing this quest right here, the story quest, uh, the genius researcher and the seed of another world. I tried to do th uh, the thought, the challenge for this one uh, in the mountains again. Uh, and unfortunately, I just can't do it. I tried it like several times. Uh, other people have been struggling with it as well online, so yeah, that's just not going to happen for now. Other than that, uh, one more thing to mention as far as uh, Zhang Li is concerned. I managed to level up all of his talents to uh, as high as I can get them for right now. Level 6. These can't be leveled up anymore, but these can still be. Um, I haven't got him equipped with any artifacts yet, uh, Osmanthus wine. But, yeah, other than that, uh, now it's time to make some wishes. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, actually, is you see I have 40 of these things. Uh, you can see that I have 40 of them by looking in the upper right-hand corner. So I'm going to make uh, wishes with uh, this. And I got a four-star bow. I think I can check it by pressing that button. Uh, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own cooldown. Uh, yeah, that seems like a kind of meh. Kind of a meh item, but okay. Uh, just gonna keep going for it. Okay, got Noel again. That's not too bad. Uh, okay. I'm hoping, okay, now I've got another bow. Uh, increased normal attack damage by 40%, but decreased charge attack damage by 10. Uh, I don't know if I really like that. Please, I'm not getting what I want out of all this. Uh, I have 10 more. Okay, I got a five star character. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I already know, and I got a uh, official too. Keeching, I think that's her name. Let me see. Uh, I, I'll. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but it's cool. I've got my third four star. Um, so yeah. Uh, now that I've done that, I wasn't expecting to get not four star. I mean third five star. I I think I said four four star for some reason. Uh, now that I've done that, I'm going to take the time to update uh, the constellation for her. Uh, when Midnight Phantasmagoria is used, it deals 222% attack damage as electro damage to surrounding opponents. When the skill duration ends, Fischl regenerates 20%. Ooh, that's nice. Uh... Okay, go over to Noelle. Noelle should be very, very close to having all of her constellations. Yeah. Uh, increase the level of sweeping time by three. Okay, and she only needs one more. Now, as far as I understand, when you fill out their constellations, uh, you know, for characters like Noelle and whatnot, whenever you get duplicates of them again via wishes, uh, instead of giving you the the duplicate item that allows you to fill out the uh, constellations. Instead, they give you more of uh, Masterless Stardust or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Star Glitter. Masterless Star Glitter. Uh, so, I, uh, they start giving you like 15 of them at a time instead of the two at a time whenever you get duplicates. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to do much with Ching or however you say her name yet, but uh, that's mainly because I don't have the resources need and that needed to be able to upgrade her. Okay. Oh, I went up by two levels. Uh, look at that. I'm almost at the point where I can make an get another one of these uh, acquainted faint things. Or quaint things, fates, or whatever. Okay, now that I'm done with that, 
let me actually I want to see something else. Okay. Inventory gadget. Uh, I'm gonna equip the uh, Nemo compass, and the reason why is because the Nemo compass. Wait, oh, you're not allowed to use it in Dragon Spine. Well, that sucks. I thought Dragon Spine was considered part of Monstat. I don't know why. Uh, oh, it says to use Freeze. Elemental Sight. Okay. I was like. Why is it the quest updating? Well, the reason why it wasn't updating is because I need to use elemental sight here and get myself uh, some treasure hoarder need, at least. I keep myself warm at the same time, standing next to the thing. I still haven't fi uh, looked up what those uh, rhyme worn things do, but that's fine. Okay. Uh. Footsteps go that way. You know, little pixie, your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah? After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. You're so suspicious. Why is Prime not a criminal in your example? <laughs> yeah, why is Prime on a criminal in her example? Maybe because Paimon is suspicious. Okay. Uh, I only slowed down there because I wanted to to follow. What? Okay, I'm not gonna bother with those guys. I thought I had to fight them for a second there, and I was gonna, but. It's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Me? <laughs> I'm all right. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Uh, seems like there's more to being a nun in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. Okay. I'm gonna get that. May as well stand by this fire as I... See if I can see where the track. Where did the tracks go? They led this way, didn't they? Yeah. Why does it feel like the tracks just all of a sudden ended? Make no sense. Ah, there we are. You just need to go a little bit further. I can see them on the ground here too. So I don't need to activate the, uh... Oh, look at this, the ceiling. It's heading in the same direction that I'm heading in, so... I may as well follow it to wherever it's going to be going. Oh, come on, man. You're going kind of far. Where did... Oh. Normally, treasure chests appear, like, right next to, uh... The thing that the Sealies go to. That time it didn't. But it doesn't seem like Albedo is going up the mountain based on these tracks. It looks like he's going around it. It's kind of bizarre. Oh, and look at that. There's a uh, crimson agate nearby. May as well get that if I can. What? Oh. Okay, climb up this little tree here. And I'll try to jump off behind. That sucks. I may have to come back to that or uh, jump at it from a higher point on the two. Maybe if I jump at it from here. Yeah, this should be high enough. I should have just done that to begin with. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, and there's another one. Why is there another one? Is that the top of this? Why didn't I notice it before? Ah, oh, great. I'm about to 
I'm about to get frozen. Okay, it really is at the top of that. Uh, I apologize for not noticing that sooner. I should have noticed it. I don't think I need a whole ten of them. I think I only need like seven to be able to go up the next level. Okay, grab onto that. I'm guessing that when it comes to following the tracks, you see the kind of... I guess I'll do this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. There's Albedo. He's the five star, like the main character banner five star. Why would he hang around a place like this? Kind of like how, uh, what's his name? Uh, Venti was the original five banner, you know, five star banner character. And then, uh, Klee was. And then I think Mona after that, followed by, uh, what's, what was his name? Anyways, you get the idea. Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around this pl uh, place like the this? The word on the street is he loves sketching. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Sketches everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? <laughs> oh, the hilly churros, uh -oh. yes. Looks like we startled them. Enough talk. Let's take them out of the picture first. Eh, that's, it's really not too hard to deal with normal heavy turtles. It's when they get bows that they become a problem. Okay, wants me to speak with the... Uh, oh. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? I think that he was painting them. Thank the gods I'd already completed my sketch. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly churls unfinished. Uh, you were sketching hilly churls. I thought so. What's up with sketching hilly churls? What makes them so interesting? Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my sketch, it may give you a clue. Uh. I wonder what those things are that seem to be surrounding the hilly churl. Uh... Wow! Look at the detail! But some of it seems to have been done in a hurry. You can find these holy churls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. Okay. See ya. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Mm-hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Huh. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? Correct. Kind of surprising that he knows that. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Your research? Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm... The essence of life? Whoa, whoa! 
You wanna start with that? Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? Uh, alchemy really is useful. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. So I'm an object of research? Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. <laughs> uh, is there any danger? It's possible. But I will do everything in my control to ensure your safety. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. And she's still hanging around. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to no one, I guess. I wonder, does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? Why does Albedo do crazy things that make you worry about uh, uh, Mondstadt's safety? Uh. Okay. Where exactly do I need to go? All the way back this way. It's right near the uh, this right here. I'm gonna be doing that when I get over there. Um, may as well walk back that way. Doesn't hurt to do so. Wait a second, I'm about to get frozen. And eh, no big deal. I have this right up here. Yay! Oh, hi. The, the way those things flip around. It almost seems realistic how they react. Almost. My cat once acted that way when I uh, went over the table and patted the table or whatever and he, was, he didn't know I was there and he flipped over himself in a panic. Quite, quite funny but at the same time I felt bad for the cat too because a very timid cat. Okay. Heal up a little bit before I go up there. Uh, pay attention to the mini map too just in case there's any kind of uh, hidden stuff around here. Let's do this. Okay. Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Eh. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? No, Paimon's got a brain. But what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? <laughs> uh... Doesn't seem like you understood. Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, Dinner's on me. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. Uh, you sure know how to keep Paimon on board. Or you've seen through Paimon's ulterior motives. I'll just select the bottom option. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. 
The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. Wait a second, this guy is an earth elemental? Huh. I, would, I wouldn't have thought that uh, after Zhang Li that we'd have another earth elemental. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. No. Fascinating. And this floating child is... Connected to your body in some way? No. What a stupid question. Can't you see the gap between us? <laughs> and another thing, it's Paimon, not floating child. I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. Uh, I caught Paimon with a fishing rod. Oh, that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Uh, Paimon, you look a little bit nervous. I saw your eyes shifting. Uh... <laughs> hmm. No, that definitely can't be it. Uh-huh, sure. Hey! How would you know anyway? Yeah, trying to change the subject. In that case... It would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them, using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six OC units. No. 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 I'm gonna say it one more time. No. The slimes! Slimes are fine! Thank you, Paimon. Uh, as long as I'm not being batted around by Hydro Mimics, um... Or I don't follow, it seems like a hassle. I was just like the bottom one. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. When did you never mind. Okay. This is gonna be more trouble than it's worth, but fine. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it that they always seem to jump at the worst possible time? I swear, it's like I, every single time, it feels like they always jump right when you don't want them to I don't know. I'm gonna grab this because I think that can deal an extra. Yeah, I did extra damage to him. And there we go. I think that should be it, right? No? Kind of surprised, but okay. And hopefully, this will be it. But, nah, that does a, a bit of damage to him, no? Talk to Albedo and hear his conclusion. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? I didn't even fight, it was all Diluc. If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Uh, not a scratch. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. 
Will it make my stomach swirl or will it crystallize in my stomach? Uh, both of them are weird options. I'll choose the top option. Sounds kind of terrifying. <laughs> Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. That's not hugely reassuring. Well, that's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. This is like a health checkup. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going to plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. The Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay. Weird. Uh, follow the road and search for star silver catalyst. Zero out of three. Um. Before that, okay. I suppose I'll get this one first. Here, should do for catalyst purposes. Uh, I'm gonna investigate this for the Boar Princess Six. Okay, Tommy. Traveler, could could you help me? What's wrong with you? Please, I need some warmth. It's too too cold. Or maybe some hot food might be good. Please, I'm just too cold. Uh, I can help you find a heat source, or I'll make you a hot meal. Uh, that's good, that's good. Please hurry, I feel like I might freeze at any moment now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, I gotta go up here. I'm gonna do this very fast. Hopefully, uh, just following the Sealy will do it. I think that this guy might actually be uh, Joel's father. Joel was the guy uh, who, uh, the kid who was looking for his dad or whatever from that one quest. super slow on top of everything else. Okay. Talk to him. Ooh, much better. Thank you, Traveler. What brings you to this place? Ah, uh, a commission? What else? I've been at the camp all this time because of a rather tricky commission. But I didn't want to stay there forever, so I was looking for something else to do. The chef, Harris, was looking for someone to find chilled meat up in the mountain. He said that I needed to find some small frozen boar and that there was no need to go too far up the mountain so there would be no danger at all. I thought it sounded straightforward enough, so I accepted the commission. I had been preparing myself too, training myself slowly, acclimat acclimatizing myself to Dragon Spine's environment. Uh, all so that I might finish the commission given to me by that alchemist lady. I didn't expect that I'd lose my way not long after after my ascent and nearly get frozen in the process. I was lucky to have met you. My only regret is that I couldn't complete my commission. Traveler, you seem to know this mountain well. Could I trouble you to do me a favor? I just need to find me one serving of chilled meat. This one is fine. That's all I need to complete my commission. I've got your back. Thanks. In that case, let me mark the locations where Harris mentioned we might find small frozen boars on your map. 
I'll head down the camp at the base of the mountain and wait your good news there. Wow, he disappeared fast. Investigate. Okay. I'll worry about that a little bit later, because it's all the way down there. Uh, right for now, I'll get rid of these guys. Oh, wait, sorry. I don't want to. What? Okay. And if that was what I was going to say, I was going to get rid of that guy first. I forget what they're called. Solid girl? Something like that. I don't know. They're pretty annoying, that's all I know. Okay. Wow, they're getting buffed by something over here. The thing that's right there in the middle. Keeps buffing them. Very annoying. It's making them... Uh, temporarily, and in, not invincible, but more like invulnerable to getting smacked around. Okay, okay. This one, usable with a bit of polish. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to get frozen to death. It's fine. What luck! This should be enough. My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. There we go. Thankfully, we've got plenty of heat sources on this mountain. Okay, now that I've found that, I'm gonna select this again. Follow the path over there. Just a second. Is there a treasure chest around here? Oh, guess not. Okay. I wonder if you can break these pots. Yes, you can. Now, I've already been through this area. Remember I was, like, in the last video I saw the Crimson Agate over there? I thought, oh, this area looks familiar somehow. I don't, I still don't quite know what that reminds me of. But it reminds me of something. Can I... No. I can hit the tree, though. Very weird. This camp is just full of stuff. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Okay. My assistant Timaeus here is helping me with my research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results. Inferences and a few daring guesses, perhaps. I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Uh, rational? Um... Hmm, rational. consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, Beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. 
Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Well, at least mm -hmm. he's willing to experiment on with my on expectations. Himself. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Okay, well, first things first, I'm gonna loot the camp. Just cabbages and carrots. Small lamp grass, huh? Okay. And any books over here? Crafting table. I wasn't expecting to see that. There's his uh, little paint board thingy. What? Where'd it go? It just kind of disappeared. That was weird. Um, other than that, I will talk to Timaeus and then Albedo and then I'll drink that. Hmm. Doesn't sound very rigorous. Surely there's another approach. I've just tried some. It's in line with my expectations. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. I'll be noting down all observable results and data points. It's... I think it's purple. Are you sure this is safe? Drink the potion. Open your inventory. And drink it, huh? Okay. Uh, talk to Alpedo. Tasty? You've got a funny look on your face. Uh, it's burning a bit. Or you drank this? Uh, it's burning a bit. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What happened to him? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. Really? Uh, it's burning me from the inside out. <laughs> this potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. Well, you should have warned. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? Yeah, Paimon. <laughs> It was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Out of consideration for the test subject? Uh, hey, what about the risk to you, Aether? But of course. You're my assistant. By all sense and reason, it would be wrong of me to place that risk onto you. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Which makes Paimon even more suspicious. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Why don't you drink it, Paimon? Let's find out. Then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. I feel like you're referring to something in particular. The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. But a peculiar person, they don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisfine, or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? Still seems like there's another layer of meaning to your words. To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Well, we've been using the power for a while now without fear, so... Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. 
Oh, you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal wasn't very precise of me, but starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. Hm. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. <laughs> uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit? Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Okay. First quest. The second experiment. Oh. Oh, they want me to examine stuff. Well, first things first. Let me see something. Uh. Okay. I want to see something else then. Okay, it was down here, I think, but I'm not going to do that yet. So I'm going to do the next part of this quest, and then I'll finish off the, uh, the other, the commission or whatever, and then I'm going to call it quits. So I'm going to start this next part of this quest here. Observe shelf. The shelf packed with books and potions. Looks like the owner has a habit of reading and researching potions simultaneously. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, read this post here. Observe record board. A board with some incomprehensible experimental reports stuck onto it. Still, you can tell that the progress is being made on those experiments. Observe table. Looks like a, uh, an alchemy work table. Some potions and other apparatus are laid out here. Are these what Albedo uses to investigate the world? It wouldn't hurt to touch it, would it? And then Albedo here should show up Albedo. here. Let's go see him. Okay. Talk to An Mars. elemental life form from another world. As soon as we have strong evidence, this may end up subverting a lot of alchemical theories. Albedo's research will see huge progress. Uh, okay. Hi, Albedo. I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? I uh, couldn't make heads or tails of anything. Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard-pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements, but worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so, or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side, do you possess any unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. Uh... Am I battling slimes again, or I drink my fill? Thanks. I'll select the top one. No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. Uh, okay. Sorry, I just can't do it. Or Paimon, you give it a shot. Paimon, you give it a shot. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? Yes, yes I do. Shifty eyes. That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. What were you expecting? Uh, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. Alchemists certainly have active imaginations. Uh... <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Okay, got a new recipe. Cooking? Paimon was looking forward to more mad science 
pissed off. Of course you were, Paimon. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bets you're just hungry. Yeah. That does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves. Uh, I know what you're getting at. Mm-hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it, then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. <laughs> How are we gonna channel elemental power into the food? Maybe try the willpower thing again. Where does he get these ideas from anyway? Uh, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting, I mean, testing the results. I wasn't done. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't think so. Sunshine Sprat. I own one, but it's not what... Where is it? They made it kind of difficult to find this stuff. Uh... Oh wait, I think I saw it. Yeah, there it is. Thankfully, I have the ingredients for it. I'm gonna make sure that I'm cooking it with, uh... Does it have to be cooked with aether? It's possible that it has to be cooked with them. Uh, I may as well cook one more just in case. Okay. Now I've done that. Go back over to here. Over to him or whatever. That was fast. And I only need to give him one. Okay. I should have paid attention earlier. Mmm. An average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. <laughs> Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. He just why to get a free meal. And here's your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. Uh, you're Paimon's new favorite. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. But anyway. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next experiment. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal Crystal Fly Elemental Extract, and Electrohypostasis Powder. Paimon's barely finished eating, and you want us to go gathering again? <laughs> Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. There should be tr uh, some elemental traces on the lost items. Oh yeah! You can use elemental sight! Okay. We gotta look in here. Okay, there's one. This must be electrohypostasis powder. And 
There's the other. The extract of an animal crystal fly can only be animal elemental energy, right? This has got to be it. Okay. Talk... Still in one piece. Good thing the vial's so strong. <laughs> talk to Albedo again. Goodness. He managed to find them. Incredible. A thousand thanks. I'm wondering... This elemental site... This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Uh-huh. Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? Unfortunately, though elemental sight is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Only a never-before-seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean... we failed again? Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. Uh... How do I get off this train is one of the options. With you to the end is what I'll choose. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? Nope. And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? Nope. So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Uh... No. Hmm. Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. What is this guy going on about? Very weird examples he's giving. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. Weird. Okay, that was the end of that quest. Uh, the next part of the quest is over there, but I am going to be doing the commission, and then I will be calling it quits after that. So let's go over here to where that commission is. Uh, I think I can start up there, make my way over. Do, do, do. The only reason why I'm completing the commission is because it's the first time I've ever done it, so... I mean, completing it on camera is because it's the first time I've ever done this particular commission. It must be one of those small frozen pores. Let's slide out, shall we? Ha! Ha! Well, that was easy. I got the chilled meat. Now I just need to bring it back to Tommy. And he's all the way back at the camp. I will find out in a second here if Tommy is indeed Joel's father. But I'm pretty sure he is. Because he had the Boar Princess book and Tommy... Well... Then again, I don't see Tommy. I'm not Tommy, Joel, sorry. Joel is the kid, Tommy is this guy. Have you found any chilled meat? Got it right here. Great, so this is chilled meat. Honestly, I don't really see the difference, besides the fact that it's cold to the touch. Well, so long as the commission's complete. Thanks, Traveler. I'd have been in a bad way if it hadn't been for you. Here, you must take this as compensation. Okay, so where is Joel? I just want to see So there's Joel. I'm guessing his dad really isn't back. Eh. I thought that it might be uh, That he might be related to him based off of uh, The fact that the Boar Princess book was right next to him that was one of the things that Joel had apparently slipped into his uh, father's stuff. 
because, uh, what do you call it? It said so in one of the notes that his father had left behind at one of the campsites. Huh. Okay, time to go over to here to turn in the commissions. And then Add I will stop. There we go. Oh wait, now that I think about it. I have uh, Primo Gems. I may as well make a couple of wishes. It doesn't hurt, right? Oh, look at that. A four-star bow that I don't need. Figures. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's it for right now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the next time I play... I will be doing the third experiment life uh, part of the quest. Um, and I'm pretty sure, let me see. It's a little ways into that mountain, I think. Isn't it? Uh, I don't have it selected. Give me a second. I'll select it. What? No, I didn't mean to select that. Wait a second. I may have to check that out in this. Uh, Guess we can rest a bit. Let me see this very fast. I haven't done any of this, uh, so I'd better be careful and make sure that I don't miss that by accident, because I don't know what that event's about. Okay, yeah, so when I continue, I'll, uh, you know, I'll just teleport there and continue from there. It'll be a little bit... Figure it makes more sense to start from this point. Okay. Um. So yeah, when I continue the next time, I will be going over there to do this quest. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.